hey guys, oftentimes we spend so much time just thinking about the IDE programs that we use or our build tools, but there's a lot of software that you use as a developer that doesn't necessarily mean you're writing code. And it's great to be proficient in that because not only does it allow you to ramp up quicker and that might be more attractive to potential employers and human resources as they're looking at it, but it will just make you a better overall developer. And so today we're gonna to be talking about the top five softwares, uh, non-technical software that you use as a developer on a daily basis so that you can get the edge. So I want to thank my sponsor, Zoom, who sponsored this video. And it, I always appreciate when a company reaches out to me for a product that I use. I've used Zoom at the last two out of three jobs that I've had. I use it every single day at my current workplace. We have a company-wide IT meeting. It goes on Zoom. It can house up to 49 videos on there so you can see everyone participating. Some of you don't want to see, some of you do. Uh, but uh, the point being that it's, it's very fluid. You can have up to 1,000 people on the line with it, and it works on any device. So some days when I'm doing stand-up, I've had to call in on Zoom, and uh, you know they're doing a video conference, and you know other days I'll do a video conference when I'm working remote, or I'll be on the other side of the camera at the office. But I'm using it every single day. And when I set up my meetings in Outlook, it comes with a standard Zoom invite because as software developers, you're going to be working with dozens and dozens of remote devs in your career. And you need a great way to be able to screen share and um, you know debug each other's code and go over um, the differences. And because we've partnered with Zoom, and I appreciate that very much so, so it's, it's always easy to be sponsored by someone's product that you actually use. And I do use Zoom <laughs> every day, but, um, a few things, uh, you're actually gonna get a free account if you're interested in it. And I encourage you to check it out because this will be something that you can get up and running and going at your new workplace. And, um, you know, of course, check out the pro accounts as well. So the free account, you can basically use you and, and two, you and one other person for unlimited minutes. The, um, up, the upgraded version, you can use it for as many people as you want for unlimited minutes. The only difference is the free account, once you have like three, four people in there that cap it at 40 minutes of meeting, so you might have to restart it there. But definitely a software that you should get comfortable with, as well as just use it to sort of pair program and plan and, and join together. But that's my first must-know software to give yourself the competitive edge. The next must-know sort of software and really if you've been working in development on a team of devs you you probably are using like jira or vsts now re referred to as azure devops and i have to say uh i've grown to love more and more as this platform has continued to grow and you know there's always been a couple things i liked about it. the ability to do the code reviews in here i find it very helpful so if you're not familiar with it um I might go ahead and just describe it a little bit more in detail. So um, this is your one-stop shop for everything uh, really at the end of the day where the boards, those are where you have your tickets. And you know, if you're using Scrum, you're gonna have your sprints and people can see what you're working on, where you're at, and you can move it along. Like, oh, well, I'm developing on this. Oh, it's in QA now. Oh, it's in release ready. Oh, we got sent back. <laughs> uh, let's move it back. You have your pipelines where you're gonna be able to um, do uh, continuous integration, continuous deployment start setting that up so that you can um, handle that the builds yourself uh, and of course you have the repos right so you're probably going to be working in a ton of repos any place you're going you're going to need access to the code it's a nice one-stop shop there and there's a lot more you can see there's over a thousand different extensions this is something i use every single day and uh, they just actually revamped the look of it and i, I really like the new style but definitely check this out and uh you know, especially even if you're on a small team and you just want to try it out, they have some some reasonable plans, but it's something to look into to be familiar with these types of tools, even if it's not expressly um, Azure DevOps. I get in trouble with this. Is it Azure or Azure? Somebody let me know uh, in, the, in the comments below. So Trello is another really cool tool that I think is is great. And it's, it's really great because of its simplicity. If you haven't used Trello before, you can kind of use it as a ticketing system, but really all it is is like a just a little a rows of various topics and how they're moving along. And my team actually uses this to 
uh, when we do our weekly uh, meeting to see, hey, where are we on these things? What are these objectives that maybe a little bit on the back burner, but we want to keep our, we want to keep it bringing it up, keep it at attention. Our, how's this going? How's that going? Move some updates. And so it's used for quite a, quite a few teams as well because of its simplicity. And um, it's definitely something to check out. And some of this shares and with the board when it comes to VSTS or JIRA, but at the end of the day, um, this is a sort of a standalone project for or standalone um, cloud-based application like most softwares nowadays anyhow. Um, but there's always a cloud version, even if there's a desktop version, a tablet version, an iOS version. But I definitely think this is something you can get comfortable with uh, because even if you, you don't end up using Trello, you should be comfortable with boards and tickets and, and everything that's going to be very similar to the Trello board. Another great tool to get familiar with is Slack. Slack is one of the premier chat tools out there for, for groups and being able to coordinate on a project or a subject matter and message uh, team members back and forth. And it's one of the more common ones to use. I highly recommend you uh, look into Slack as well. Last but not least, I highly recommend you check, take a look at um, some sort of wire framing tool like Balsamic. That's the one that I've used in the past and they've been nice enough to send me a free copy. Um, and I use it when I'm starting a new project or if there's some requirements where, hey, I want to just make sure I'm on the right path. I'll, I'll take 20, 30 minutes, mock something up similar to like this. Hey, this is these are the states. This is what's expected. Um, sla uh, excuse me. Uh, Balsamic is really great for that, but really I encourage you to take a look at any sort of wireframing mock-up tool, some sort of low resolution. I'm not telling you to be a UI UX developer, but some low resolution mock-up tools so that you get comfortable with it. I want to thank again our sponsor Zoom uh, for you know helping the channel out, man. I just bought a house. I appreciate it, right? Um, so as I mentioned, I use Zoom all the time, and again, don't forget to use the zoom.us slash coding360 code to get yourself a free account so you can get up and, and get going. But between the remote days that I have, between the meetings, every single meeting at my work has a Zoom ID automatically created. It's pretty cool that they've been able to build that into the Microsoft platform. Specifically, we use Outlook at my work. And so you create a meeting through the system, it'll automatically attach a Zoom ID. You don't have to juggle it around and attach it and you know create one and so it's always been really easy um so I, I really use that zoom plugin every time i set up a meeting now i always forget how to set up meetings so it's always nice <laughs> when something is already set up ready for it to go um but i hope you guys found this helpful i think really at the end of the day um you know being familiar with these things and using how all these tools and i, I tried to give a wide variety of tools in different domains because it's important that you're familiar with all these things because these are the things you're going to be using on a daily basis. These are the things where, you know, maybe um, some of these you'll be working with other developers. Some of these you'll be having, you know, a video call with your product owner and uh, maybe doing a demo through through Zoom. And so everyone can chat and and, um, you know, see see your uh, screen share and, you know, maybe you're gathering requirements and all these things really help you in that process. And that's part of the job as well. It's not just all writing code. So um, as always guys, thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Special thanks again to Zoom. Check them out with the link below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my 100 algorithm challenge course, get you prepped for those technical interviews to make sure you get nice offers. I, I actually just added some new content to it so you can get prepared for those technical phone screens as well. There's a link in the description to get it for just $9.99.